Dear friends, I am pleased to address you today for the anniversary of the European Festival Association. Ladies and gentlemen, docere et delectare, to teach and to delight. Such is, according to Horatius, the mission of art. It is precisely this mission that the European Festivals Association has fulfilled during 60 successful years. At that time, festivals were the artistic answer to the physical and mental destruction caused by the Second World War in the whole of Europe. Having been founded in 1952 by Denis de Rougemont, someone who means a lot to me because I was a student uh, in Geneva. And I know also that Denis de Rougemont was so committed to this project, like, by the way, the famous composer Igor Markevich. As Denis de Rougemont said already in 1952, the culture was helping us to uh, get in contact with the other world. A whole army of festivals of different size and content bring excitement, enjoyment and engagement to people across Europe. Any festival, in my opinion, should try to go beyond that and to add to what is locally there and from a very international perspective try to inform the audience, also giving context to what's already there, bringing them five, six, seven, eight steps further. The festival brings new life to cities and regions that are suffering from economic decline and attract international attention. Roughly speaking, they can be seen as a catalyst for fresh artistic visions and also for political and social progress. Culture is something which has a value on itself, which has a function on itself, and as strongly as it is respected as something which is authentic, it will have a lot of side effects, which are political, which are underlining the social cohesion, which are also, also political, but you have to use the culture element as an authentic element. I think the borders between countries uh, disappeared. This is exactly what Simon Rattle, the, uh, one of my favorite conductors, uh, said. Uh, um, he said, since I spent time on, in, uh, in Asia in islands, and when I, uh, since I listen to music, the way how they are doing music, for me, everything in Europe is a little bit less important. It is an obligation of any international cultural organization to be equally present and active in any part of this continent. Europe is not a continent on its own. It's connecting worldwide and uh, we face global challenges and we probably endorse some global uh, human values that we can promote all together more effectively than, uh, than separately. What role for EU in cultural policies? Do we let culture go and there with Europe and let nationalism take over? Europe is more than a technocratic construction. Festivals can operate as a model, generous with ideas, sharing visions and respecting diversity in unity. The EU has competence and a responsibility to safeguard Europe's cultural diversity. Europe can and Europe must come alive in the hearts and minds of Europeans. It must be understood, debated, by those who bring it to life every day. That is by those that are studying, working, 
collaborating together in areas where frontiers between member states have been abolished. Uh, to be member of this association was give, uh, gave us and is still giving us better credibility in our uh, local local situation. I know that I can count on the support of European Festivals Association's members in the discussions to secure the future of this program. Let's hope that history doesn't make fools of us, that we are not seen as the century that advocated the utilitarian use of art and artists, or art for the sake of swelling audience numbers, economic development, or art for the sake of tourist stats and bragging rights. A Europe of culture, and I'm very committed to that idea of a Europe of culture, that then there are a number of uh, challenges ahead. You can be assured of my personal commitment and commitment of the European Commission to ensure that these ambitions are reflected at all levels of our action. Let's make sure we serve artists in their right. If we serve them to ensure continuing practice of creativity at the edge, then we serve not only audiences, but we serve community, society and the world at large. Unity in diversity has become the European motto. Unity, but not uniformity. In the Union, there is still so much to be done concerning the role and the place of culture and arts as the same Denis de Rougemont whispered at the end of his life. Congratulations with your 60th anniversary. Dear friends, I'm delighted to be celebrating with you this 60th anniversary of the European Festivals Association. I wish you all the best. I thank you for your work. And I want to encourage you to keep that good work in favor of a strong Europe for culture. Thank you. I'm extremely delighted about the 60th anniversary of the European Festivals Association and would like to compliment the leaders and organizers of the festival also on behalf of all my colleagues. Festival, no we can test if you bar a twirl home good what means. Uh, EFA stick 60 years on go firm like this and we meet each other in 60 years. I'm congratulating the European Festivals Association on its 60th birthday. Happy birthday, Eva. Eva, for 60 years, what fantastic work you've done, what great work there still is to come. So, bon anniversaire, bon anniversaire, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Ja,